Four billion years ago, a terrifying impact struck Mars. This impact peeled away layers of the crust, reaching a depth of up to 100 kilometers from the Martian surface. Thus, the largest crater on Mars, the Acidis Basin, with a diameter of up to 1,500 kilometers was formed. Hello, everyone. Then, millions of years later, another smaller asteroid arrived at this crater. This gave rise to the small Jezero crater, with a diameter of 49 kilometers within the vast expanse of the Acidis Basin. Over time, this crater gradually transformed into a picturesque circular lake. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're heading to this serene location with the Mars rover Perseverance. Would you like to join us? Well then, let's get going. Perseverance On July 30, 2020, the Atlas V rocket was launched from Cape Canaveral Space Center. This rocket embarked on a journey spanning several months, carrying the critically important payload of NASA's latest Mars rover, Perseverance. On February 18, 2021, this rover successfully landed on Mars. And, for a long while, nothing happened. Perseverance's primary mission includes the exploration for extraterrestrial life and the sampling of regolith and rocks to be returned to Earth. However, the rover has other tasks to carry out during this mission. For instance, it will use the MOXIE, Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment Demo Unit to produce oxygen from carbon dioxide. No. NASA currently doesn't have plans to terraform Mars or alter its atmosphere. It's just exploring the possibility of generating gases we might need. On April 20, 2021, MOXIE successfully operated for the first time. It was able to produce 5.37 grams of oxygen in one hour. That's enough oxygen for an adult to breathe for 10 minutes. Well done, MOXIE! Now, there's a reason Perseverance stayed at its landing site for two months. One day, a little baby named Ingenuity popped out from inside the rover. This was the first helicopter or drone to fly on Mars, proving it can fly even in the thin Martian atmosphere. While the little flyer explores eagerly, taking its first steps, Perseverance patiently waits as engineers test the helicopter's capabilities. Soon, they'll embark on a Mars-wide adventure together. Perseverance's tiny companion had planned five test flights, but on January 6, 2024, this baby completed its 71st flight, totaling two hours and eight minutes of flight time. Ingenuity proves to be not just a flying toy around Perseverance, but also a helpful guide, navigating through perilous dunes and rugged terrain, leading them along the best paths. sample collection. However, Perseverance's primary mission remains the sampling of Martian soil and rocks. To accomplish this, the rover carries 43 specialized test tubes for experiments and several tools, including a drill-equipped robotic arm. It drills into rocks and collects samples, depositing them into the test tubes. Perseverance measures the mass of the samples and then sends them to its internal storage compartment. 38 of these tubes are designated for collecting Martian soil samples. The remaining five are witness tubes, ensuring that there are no earth contaminants and confirming proper sample collection. With only 38 tubes available, careful selection of drilling locations and meticulous storage of results are paramount. Perseverance collects two samples at various points along its complex route, accounting for this limitation. Some samples are transported by the rover itself, while others are stored at a location called the Sample Depot. Sample Rubion On August 6, 2021, Perseverance finally fulfilled its mission on Mars. In a location called Polygonal Valley, it collected the first-ever Martian soil sample, named Rubion, from the bottom of the Jezero crater. 
All drilling operations and other maneuvers were successful, and scientists were ecstatic. However, upon examining the test tube, they discovered it was empty. Shocked researchers realized that something had gone wrong. Nevertheless, they speculated that it might still contain a sample of Martian atmosphere. Wouldn't that be something? The cause of the failure was rather simple. The rocks Perseverance began to drill were too fragile and crumbled into dust. That's why the test tube ended up empty. On Earth, scientists have tested the Mars rover with various types of rocks, but they have never encountered a similar problem. But Mars is not Earth. Does this really mean that the mission has failed? Montagnier and Montagnac Scientists, reeling from the failure of the initial sampling, made the decision to relocate the Mars rover to a ridge known as Artubi. In doing so, they stumbled upon another intriguing object. A large rock on the Martian surface, dubbed Rochette, became an enticing subject for research. During the time when there was a lake in the crater, this rock clearly interacted with water. This suggests potential chemical alterations to the rock. Hence, the time had come to investigate further. Perseverance commenced drilling into this rock. On September 6, 2021, samples from Montaigne were collected, followed by samples from Montagnac two days later. The rock bore two clean boreholes for each sample. Both samples were found within the test tubes, leading to the mission being deemed successful. With everything going smoothly, the Mars rover can continue its journey. Hitchhiking Across the Red Planet Perseverance is not merely remaining stationary. It's traveling along complex routes, choosing the most intriguing spots to observe. During this journey, Perseverance has made several new friends. The first was a massive rock that got wedged under one of the rover's wheels on February 4, 2022. This rock accompanied the rover for 427 souls, Martian days, traveling over 10 kilometers. Eventually, it rolled off somewhere along the road, bidding farewell to its host. Quite the hitchhiker, isn't it? Additionally, Perseverance has met other rocks. There are giant rock donuts, peculiar round formations reminiscent of Earth's stromatolites, and several rare rocks. What do you think about the snake's head peeking out from the rocks? And how about this round rock balancing on top of another? Wouldn't this sombrero make a great addition to your hat collection? Lovely, isn't it? These are just a few snapshots taken by the stone hunter Perseverance on its journey. What Perseverance Found However, what truly astonished the scientists was another stone. Though its shape may not be peculiar, what draws attention is its composition. As of January 2024, Perseverance had collected 8 samples of igneous rock, 12 samples of sedimentary rock, 2 samples of regolith, and 1 sample of atmosphere. Surprisingly, magma-derived stones were found within the crater, which is actually a positive revelation. This is because these stones perfectly preserve geological epochs. Stones once born from magma will likely reveal to scientists when Jezero Crater formed a lake, indicating when conditions on Mars were suitable for the emergence of life. Exposed to water, these stones undergo chemical changes, forming salts, sulfates, and phosphates. Upon breaking the surface of one such stone, Perseverance discovered sulfates resembling polar bears. Ancient microbial traces are not well preserved in igneous rock. Sedimentary rocks are more conducive to preserving them. Sedimentary rocks are believed to have formed when rivers already existed in this area of Mars. In the sediment of precisely these rivers, the highest concentration of organic matter was found. For instance, Using the Sherlock instrument, aromatic compounds were detected in an uplift called Wildcat Ridge, a former delta where rivers once flowed into the lake. Detection itself doesn't imply the presence of life on Mars, but it certainly raises the possibility. By the way, Sherlock evaporates thin layers of material with laser light, 
simultaneously recording molecular spectral traces to detect organic compounds. For those wondering about Watson's whereabouts, it's right nearby. Before Sherlock acts or samples are collected, cameras photograph each stone. By the end of its second year of operation, the rover not only collected several sedimentary rock samples from Jezero Crater and its neighboring river delta of the Neretva River, but also approached carbonate layers. These layers formed at the interface of Martian water and atmosphere. On Earth, carbonate minerals often entomb microbes, preserving them in a pristine state. If life once existed on Mars, it's hoped that it might be found in these layers. Organic Matter However, Perseverance had already found organic matter in the very first samples long ago. These are not complex life forms, but simple organic molecules like naphthalene that may have originated on Mars or arrived with asteroids. Currently, the rover's instruments cannot identify the specific types of molecules, so we must wait until the samples are delivered to Earth. The plan is to achieve this in the early 2030s, with another landing module arriving on Mars to collect and return the samples. And that wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Indeed, we'll have to wait a while. But by the time we receive the samples we desire, Perseverance may have found something else remarkable. We'll be sure to share any new discoveries by Mars rovers with you. If you want to know more about Perseverance's mission, please leave a comment below. Then, we'll feature Perseverance's capabilities. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for your likes on the video and for spreading it on social media. And a special thank you to those who have used the Super Thanks feature. You are invaluable support to the channel during these challenging times. Truly, thank you. You are a significant support in discussing the cosmos and a source of inspiration for us to create new videos. Well then, I'll take my leave here. Until we meet again, goodbye.